Hi there, how's it going? Feeling bored? Me too. You know what that means, don't you? This. Okay, so this came with one of my guitars. I've had it for a while now, and when I first got it, it worked fine, completely fine, until I opened it up, took the speaker out. I'm not sure if I got this on camera for a video or not, but I tested out the speaker, and it blew. It blew really easily. I'm not too sure what the wattage is on this. Might even be like 10 watts. So what I did was I replaced the speaker on the inside of that with a six by nine. All right, so you should be able to see that now. The center of the speaker should be visible it's right there. I've taken the tweeters off of that six by nine and uh, just sort of put it in there. It works, it works all right. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need it. So I'm gonna take it apart. And that speaker on the inside of there is probably gonna get blown because I need space for other stuff. There's gonna be a big change coming to this channel pretty soon. Um, content is more or less gonna stay the same, but there's gonna be a change and you'll see that soon. Just I need a bit of space and this is probably gonna help actually it's probably not but I'm doing this anyway I'm gonna zoom into about there like that and we'll set the focus a little further back I think about there should do and then I'm gonna slice through this and downwards too even though that was quite satisfying this material is quite tough Anyway, as you can see right there, we have the front of the speaker and it's completely the wrong shape for this box. But I used it anyway because I wanted to. And not only that, but it's not even fastened in properly. And it can't be because it's the wrong shape. Now what I'm gonna be doing is giving this away for free. Doesn't matter where you live in the world, I'll send it to you for free. There might be a few staple marks in it, but it still works. Yeah, it works fine. And I think it's in two separate pieces. Like this one is the soft piece and this one right here has the hooks. And uh, yeah, these will be the staple marks, but um, if you want it, it's here. Still in fairly good condition, both sides. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the Velcro straps. Not this. Now, I don't know about you, but I just still can't get over this and I'll show you what I mean. And now this back end right here can come off. And the thing I just can't get over, there's the screws on the floor, is these screws right here. What is the point in them? They're not doing anything. And this, with all the writing on it, is a label. It's stuck on. Do you now see why I can't get over that? I mean, whose idea was that? Now, because I'm at it, what I'm gonna do by the way, that was because I'm at it. Because I'm at it. Because I'm at it. What I'm gonna do is remove this. All right, well, that's too big. Wow. That does leave quite a bit of damage. And now you see why I'm at it. And there we have the speaker. And I think there's only one screw holding it in. Let me just use this. And that's off, there's a screw. I can put that in my collection. And off these come. And there we have that out. All right, so I've taken the speaker off. I've also taken that off could come in handy for something else. And also, the power switch. I'll never say no to a decent switch. All right, so I thought rather than just blow this speaker up using my regular amp, I'd give it a go with this. As you can see, there are two parts right here. This is the amp, that is the EQ. I've got three other parts to this, three. Now I haven't used this in a long time. I don't really use it for anything. Um, apart from maybe dust collection, uh, the three other parts, tape deck, uh, radio section, um, and a CD player. Uh, there might even be something else. I think there's a record player that goes on top. Now I'm not too sure what sort of power this puts out. I think it's about 60 watts, maybe at six ohms or something like that. But we're gonna see whether this has the power to blow that speaker down there. And this speaker's maximum power handling is 90 watts. 
All right, so let's see how well this thing can do. And it turns on, that's a good sign. Uh, auxiliary. And right here, I'm on my other channel. I've uh, got some tracks here, low motion, meh, videos. Might just play this one. All right, let's see how this does. Uh, volume knobs right there, so you can sort of see that. And speaker, as you can see, looking dusty. Mmm, tasty. All right, so I'll just press play. No sound. Oh, wait a minute, I see the issue. This. Actually, wait a minute, the graphic equalizer should be showing something too. Phono. All right, there we go, video. Don't know if that made much of a difference, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so what we have here is an EQ. Uh, when you click manual, you can actually change the peaks and stuff. There's three to choose from to change them. What you do is use this. And then increase or decrease wherever you want. Or you can choose from these presets right here. So there's rock, pop. Let's see what the differences are. So that's got more mids. Classic is looking a bit flat. And then we have car, which is a bit weird. Car looks like that. Right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just press play on this track. So this right here changes the look of the spectrum analyzer. Uh, but yeah, basic system, bass. I sort of had it maxed out then at about halfway. Um, Obviously there's quite a bit of distortion because the bass is turned all the way up. So if I turn that down to two, it's going to be able to get a little louder. I mean, just barely, but there's still distortion. And I reckon this is around 60, 50, 60 watts. And I also don't think it's going to be able to blow this. But what I'll do is I'll play 25 Hertz through this now and we'll see how long it lasts. Right after I play this. And it's turned off. I thought that might happen at some point, but I completely forgot about it happening altogether until now. All right, so here we have 25 hertz. Let's see how well this does. That actually feels warm there. Yep, and it's smelling. There's a hole in the back of this, and that is where the tweeters were attached. Turn it up a little more. It's pretty warm on the bottom now. The sound's changing. That is where the volume's at. It's not the desk. All right, this is taking too long. Sounds changing. Seems to be getting a bit louder. I'll turn up the volume. Oh, the magnet's hot. Magnet's very hot. All right, well, uh, not really getting anywhere with that. 50 hertz. Wow, can't even hold that on the bottom. Turn up the volume. 
VTEC. Well, it was VTEC. Alright, well, it seems to be pretty difficult to blow this with 60 watts. If it is 60 watts, I think it was a little hotter with 25 hertz. Let's try 20. That's maximum volume. All right, we're getting nowhere. I think I've sort of dealt with my boredom. I'll see you in the next one.